my friends it is Dana welcome back to decorate with Dana and welcome if you are new here today we're going to do a good old decorating video we're going to do a early spring spring coffee table styling video I'm going to try to give you three or four different styles one being very um, minimal which is usually how I decorate more but you know we'll see so one being very minimal and then you know slowly kind of adding on different things until the last one will be much more um, decorated and just to give you some different options so what's nice with each of these is you can mix and match so say you didn't like the floral arrangement that i used in the first one but you liked the third one but you liked the second style like you could switch everything around to come up with a style that works best for you these are just ideas these are just um my idea of what an early spring uh, coffee table would look like so hopefully it gives you just a little bit of decorating inspiration and maybe you can get one or two ideas from this and that would make me doing this worth it so anyways if you are new here and you enjoy these type of videos I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel I've also been adding in a lot more vlog type videos with recipes and hauls and all that other fun stuff so if you'd like all that type of content i would love it if you would subscribe please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and let me know down in the comments which one of the styles that i do do you like the best all right without further ado let's get decorating the coffee table for spring okay so under here i've kept kova's treats <laughs> and um i've had these little leather or faux leather baskets that are from Target like probably a year ago. I've had them under here. This is where we store a lot of Kova's like games, snuffle mats and stuff. I think I wanna switch it out for a little while with these baskets. I think these were also from Target. I've had them for a while. So I want to kind of put both of those under here just to give it a little bit of texture and switch it out. Other than that, these will stay under for all of the uh, all four of the styles that I do on the top. And then this pretty canister has a little leather hand or top came from, I think it was like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And this is just where, they're almost gone. But this is where I usually just keep Kova's treats. So because we do a lot of training and stuff with Kova in here, I'm going to keep these right down here. So that way we can always get to them. And I think it's a pretty canister. So I, I'm okay with the way that that looks also. Okay, you guys, this is about as simple as you can get. This gorgeous scalloped tray is on Amazon. Now it has, been, I've had this for well over a year, but it has been sold out forever. But I found a very similar one the other day at At Home. So I'm gonna try to find this one, see if it's available. I'll link this one, but I will also link the At Home version. It was very similar. I'm not certain if it had the actual handles or just a scalloped tray, but it was really pretty. So I will link that one also, but this one is just perfect for, if you use 
use your coffee table for games or just you have people over or sometimes people like even sit in here and eat dinner, you actually can use this, pretty much this entire table. You can easily take this off, just grab the handles and remove it. I am an advocate for trays on the coffee table just for that reason. You can just remove them, but I will not be using a tray in every one of these styles maybe just this one, but I do like using trays because it's for easy removal. This really pretty wispy plant came from Target. I think it was like two years ago. I was going to put it in a different pot, but I actually love this pot and the aged look of this. So I left it right in there. Very simple. And then a couple coasters. So like this is everything about this is functional, but yet it has a pretty little pop of spring there. I also have it off centered. I just like that. Um, but you could move it right directly to, or you could move it right directly to the middle of the table. I just tend to like it off centered just a little bit. I don't know, I'm not one that likes everything perfectly centered, but it's really what you like. Again, I love the two baskets down there at the bottom and then the basket tray, it just adds a bunch of texture. And then the delicate pink flowers of this plant are perfect for spring. Now, I don't, like I said, I got this a couple years ago. Don't think they have this exact one anymore, but I'll try to link something similar. Target always really has really pretty spring, like little plants and stuff. Or they have some really pretty florals that you could get um, floral stems and then put them in a really simple vase and recreate a very similar look. Okay, so this one might be my favorite. I just love, like this is just enough decor for me. You still can easily move um, the items if you need to use your coffee table more. Um, it's low profile, so if you're sitting on the couch watching TV, you can see over it just fine. It's not an issue at all. I love all the architectural kind of detail in here from again, that same scalloped basket and then this aged black pot that came from Hobby Lobby with the two handles. And then these little stems are so pretty. They are from Target, I think last year. Love the super light pink color just to tie in the spring. And then um, the Art of Home book by Shay McGee is just beautiful. It's everything about that is amazing. And then I absolutely love this bowl, this two handled bowl that came from Amazon. It was in one of my Amazon hauls. I will link it up above, but I think that this just looks stunning. Um, I don't know. I think everything about it is just beautiful. So this one very well may be my favorite.
Okay, so here is the third coffee table early spring decor. Um, I love just coffee table books because I like to have a variety so then people can pick and use what they want. This little gold box is from Creative Co-op. I got this in my habitation box a few years ago, but that's a very popular item all of a sudden. I will try to link it. It is on Amazon. If it's available, I will link it. This is that vintage picture that I got from an antique store uh, just in my last antique haul. It's beautiful. And I added these florals. So again, this one is going to sit up a little higher. So when you're sitting on the couch, you can still see the TV. However, it is just a little bit higher, so you can remove this, but um, I tend to go for more low profile on the coffee table itself. But if you don't and it doesn't bother you, this is beautiful here. And these florals are one of my favorites. They came from Hobby Lobby last year. I don't even know what they are or what they're called, but I think they're so pretty. And I think it's just a normal floral. It's not a spring specific floral. It's one that they have all year. And then two more coffee table books over here. This little marble bowl is from the Hearth and Hand at Target. That is a recent purchase. And then this candle, really pretty, is from Hobby Lobby last year. It's like melon scented. It smells really good, very strong. And then this is just a candle snuffer that I think I got from World Market like last year or something. So I've had this for a while. Again, I think it all ties in nicely with the two wicker baskets down at the bottom. More textures, the candle, you know, just some different things going on here. So this is style number three. Okay, you guys, here is how the last one turned out. This is really beautiful. If you like a lot going on on the coffee table and a lot of decor, I do think this is beautiful. This is one of my favorite pots. This is from West Elm. I will try to link it down below. I've had it for like a year and a half now. I love this. And then this is my favorite stem so far that I've found this year. This is a magnolia stem from At Home and the it is so realistic. Does not have any greenery going on. It's just the florals. I think that this is beautiful and like a perfect transition from, you know, early spring right in through summer. So I love that. Added just a little touch of Easter with these wood decorative eggs that I found at At Home. Again, in that same creative co-op 
bowl that has the two handles. And then this is my one of my favorite coffee table books. And then back here, I have a couple of other coffee table books with these travertine candle holders. They are stunning. They were in my last Amazon haul. I absolutely love those. And then I just have this serene candle, smells amazing from Walmart. And then this little handled candle holder, I think is from Target a couple of years ago. So that you guys would be the last of the four different spring coffee table styles. Okay, you guys, that is going to wrap up this early spring, spring coffee table decorating ideas video. If again, if you guys enjoyed, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe to my channel. We have so many fun vlogs and decorating videos coming up. So again, in the comments, let me know down below which style you liked. I'm not even sure which one I'm going to use yet because I liked some of all of them. Like I loved the simplicity of the first one. The second one though I really liked just because it added it a little bit more without being over the top, but I don't know, there was parts of all of them that I liked, so you'll have to see which one I end up using. Um, I'll probably mix and match and come up with something even more different than the four that I shared with you today. So again, make sure you subscribe so you can see how I end up decorating the entire family room for early spring. And yeah, I guess that's about it. I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.